Hey, welcome. We are still looking at uh, the issue of assessing your farm's performance. And it's good to emphasize that you don't just check, also score yourself. Put a mark on every uh, things that, you, uh, that, that you're checking so that you know whether there's an improvement uh, between this time you're assessing and the next time you'll be assessing. We have looked in previous topics at the people and the cows, but now we look at the structures. Are the structures good for the cows? On the matter of cow comfort and the barn uh, design, the point number one is the comfort of the cows. Are the cows comfortable? So we look at various aspects to determine whether cows are comfortable or they're uncomfortable. This can, we can be able to see this by looking at uh, the hawks. How is the, are they clean on the surface? Are they lame? And could those lameness have been caused by the structure that you've made for the cows? Two is how flexible or expandable is the barn? If you want to increase the number of the cows, can it be flexed to become bigger? Or can it be changed so that uh, you can be able to put a barrier here for the, to separate these cows and the others? Or is it too concrete and too solid and too closed? Then if it's more flexible and expandable, we have a higher score than when it is uh, too closed and too concrete. Now third is how simple, how robust, and how economical. We don't want to see a complex or a, a concrete jungle um, so many confused uh, sections of the barn. We want to see a very simple and robust and also economical, not too expensive, not too flamboyant, because the investor intends to use less uh, resources, but also come up with a comfortable place for their cows. Four is the optimization of the movements of the cows and the labor. Now, when the cows are moving from one place to the other, how close is the feeding area to milking? How close is the troughs? to where the silage is being fetched. So if it is too far from each other, then of course more time is taken and labor is wasted. To have a more efficient labor, then all these places must be coordinated so that we have workers doing it easily and doing it faster. Five is the ventilation and climate control. Is the barn well ventilated? Can the wind just blow between the cows so that they can be cooled off? Or has there been any effort to ensure that cows do not ha are not closed in to heated areas and they're having problems with heat stress and so on. How is the barn helping to control the climate for the cows so that the cows have the best climate within the barn as they are eating, as they are being milked, as they are moving around? Six is the matter of young stock. How are the young stock housed? Is it good structures? Are they comfortable? Are they exposed to risks or are they safe? So as we look at the housing for the bigger cows, we also look at the housing for the, for the younger stock. And this may mean the newborns who are in the pens also the, the wind calves who are in the group pens and so on. Seven is the risk management, the physical and biosecurity. Now, how are we checking? How is the design helping us to be able to check physical security? Can you have a dog just passing across the barn, which is very risky? Or how is it structured in such a way that movement, someone can move in from a certain uh, entry and be able to exit in a well-defined exit? Now, that is very important. Also, to ensure that when people walk in, they can be able to be dressed so that they are walking in uh, and their dresses are, or their clothing is, a, is, is, a, is, is, a, is not infected with other diseases they, have, they could have collected from other farms. Biosecurity looks at, um, is it possible to actually make a design that controls diseases from walking in or, or walking in through people's clothes and people's shoes and so on. So the issue of the water bath, uh, how it is serviced and so on. Eight is the energy efficiency or the issues of manure and waste disposal uh, structures. How is energy managed? Uh, is, it, is it wasted? Is it possible that the energy could actually be substituted? Instead of using grid, then biogas can be used. And how is manure also used? Is it wasted? Is it left in the sun uh, where nutrients, very critical nutrients are getting lost through, through uh, escaping into the air or leaching into the ground? And how are other wastes disposed? Cans of, of drugs, or other containers used for various supplies, how are they, is there, is there a way that the design can allow for such to be disposed in a, in a very safe way so that they don't also become a problem in the barn? Nine is the retention structures for water. Where is water retained? Are we losing water? Is the barn also taking into consideration rainwater, how it can be harvested, how the runoff can be harvested, how that can also be done away from the cows so that there are no risks that are, uh, that are brought by the issue of uh, water retention. But then also ensuring that all water that passes through the barn is, is saved for use so that the cost for the farmer are also reduced when the water is harvested. 10 is a store for hay. 
this may go together 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 with the silage bankers. I mean, for most farms, you'll have a hay store, but also have bankers for hay, especially bankers for silage, especially if the farm is making their own silage. So how are the stores looking like? Are they safe? Are they stores that could easily collapse? Or are the workers safe when they are putting those stacks of hay on those uh, big bands? And about the silage bankers, how are the bankers? Are they big enough? Do they allow proper storage of silage without spoilage, without heating? And when the workers are fetching that silage from the bankers, are they safe? Or are they having to go into a pit and then climb up the ladder? Very risky for them. So that's also very important. And 12 is other structures like the spreaders. Those are very important supportive or accessory structures uh, in the farm. The spreaders and the vet crash. Where are they? Where are they placed? What is the condition? When the cow walks in there for spraying or for treatment or for insemination, are they safe? Are those structures made in the recommended way? We look at all these structures to ensure that cows are comfortable and that their productivity is not affected by poor structures. So you score high when the structures are good and you score low when the structures are not good.